I'ma keep it a bean. Stick to the script every scene. This from last year, but they clean. Say to say, I'ma take some else, but it's winning team. Charlie Sheen, fam gang, the regime. I'm from Piney Green. What's goody, Shell Tron here? You can call me Shells, and I'm back at again with a brand new video. And I'ma keep it a bold, berry biscuit. We have to talk about this news right here. Now, at first, I wasn't gonna do a video on this topic because I, hey, look, for the most part, I don't really believe what's happening here. But I think a few things need to be cleared up about what we've all either seen, heard, or been told about in this situation. And we already know what it is. We've heard the reports that Cam Newton said or hinted that he would be open to a trade with the Bears. Now, first off, I got to go ahead and mention that as of the time of this recording, I cannot find the original tweet or the original source of this actual information, it came from Ian Rappaport. And all the tweets and all the reports right now coming out all reference Ian Rappaport, but as of right now, I cannot find it on his Twitter account. I don't know what it is, but a pair of tweets right here from Bleacher Report. Uh, this first one says, uh, Cam Newton returning to the Panthers next year is highly unlikely per rap sheet. That's Ian's Twitter. A trade involving the former MVP appears to be the most likely option. That was tweeted November 10th at 9.30 a.m., and then this next tweet from Bleacher Report Gridiron says Cam Newton would welcome a trade to the Bears if they're in the market for a quarterback this offseason per rap sheet. Ian Rappaport again. And this was tweeted November 13th at 9.17 a.m. So both very early tweets, three days apart. One implying Cam's time in Carolina is over. The other implying that Cam said he would want to play in Chicago. Now, there's... Two possible situations here. Two possible situations here that are, I think, equally likely. But maybe, no, actually no. One's more likely than the other. The first possibility, which I think most Panthers fans are convinced of right now, is that Ian's capping. That none of this is true. That he's trying to get clickbait. He's trying to get people to see his, his, his articles and write, like, I guess, think pieces and what-if scenarios for Cam. That could possibly, maybe, might be true. But... Ian doesn't really cap like that. Ian didn't rise to the position he's in right now by misquoting or lying or misrepresenting the truth. I don't think Ian would really do that right here. He has no reason to try to sell this story specifically. Now, it would be a big story. Probably one of the biggest stories of the last couple of years if Cam were on the open market, the trade value, just the thinking about where he could go. Now, we keep hearing about the Bears, but there are a lot of other teams who could possibly want Cam, including the Titans, the Chargers, there are a few other teams that could look at Cam. I don't know why the Bears are the biggest, the, the, the most, I guess, reported team of all those teams. Because one, they just traded up to get Mitch, and he's obviously not a good quarterback, so we understand that. But two, didn't they already give away all their draft picks for Khalil Mack? So don't they only have, what, two seconds? And a bunch of fourths. Name me one reporter or a GM or talking heads on these uh, on these sports shows who's even hinted at what the Bears would give up to get Cam. Everyone says the Bears could trade for him, but no one has even one time thought to themselves and said, "Wait, wait, didn't the Bears give away all their trade equity last year? What could they possibly give away for a quarterback?" When we've seen what corners are going for in the open market, we've seen guys who are defensive ends. Go for multiple first in the open market. What would the Bears have to trade for Cam? That's my first thing. But the second, and what I'm more convinced has happened here, is that Ian is probably trying to like twist the words. He's not exactly lying, but I think what probably happened is someone talked to Cam and they were like, look, bro, if the Panthers are going to trade you and there are teams out there right now who would want to pick you up, would you be open to playing for those teams? Let's just say maybe the Bears. The Bears might be in the, in the market for a quarterback. Would you be open to playing for the Bears? And he said, yeah. And that makes sense. I'm with Cam on that. That makes 100% of sense. And listen to me right here. If you're told the situation is you're going to be traded and someone asks you, would you be open to play for this team? Of course. If your job's gone in one place and someone asks you, hey, would you be open to working here? You're unemployed. You're going to say yes. This man wants to play football still. He's not going to say no. If the Panthers want to trade me right now, I'm going to retire this very second. I don't want to play for any other team but the Panthers. So if they want to cut me or trade me right now, I'm just going to retire and I'm gone. 
I'm gonna sell backpacks now. I'm gonna do my uh, my seven on seven flag football league and get away from the NFL for the rest of my life. That's not what's going on here. What most likely happened is someone gave him a scenario saying, if Carolina wanted to trade you, would you be cool with playing for, say, this team right here? And the obvious answer there, you have to say yes. So on one hand, I really do get folks getting mad about it, saying, why is Ian reporting this? Is this a lie? Why would Kim even say this? What is happening here? This can't be the truth at all. This is just clickbait or whatever. I understand that. But on the other hand, if you thought about it, if you think about the reporters and how athletes get asked questions and how their answers kind of get twisted or they don't get the whole context behind it, when they're reported, you just get the, the headline. Cam will be welcome to a trade to the Bears. Now, you start to think to yourself, wait, that's kind of weird. But once you get the full context and the full quote and you get the full scope of the question asked and what he replied with, I think you would find that it's probably a little more realistic than the pool quote we get here or the headline or whatever else is out there. Now, we don't have the full question, the full, I guess, exchange between Cam and whoever asked him this and whoever reported this to Ian and then Ian in turn reported that and then we should report reported what Ian said which is like what four times removed from the primary source look we get it but I'm gonna say it one more time I understand what this quote means and the likelihood of how it was asked anyone in their right mind is gonna say I'm open to playing for a team if my team doesn't want me anymore. It really is just as simple as that. Don't get heated over this article, over this news coming up. Don't like get mad about it. It's a non-issue to me. And it's the same thing that the other thousand dudes in the NFL would say if given this kind of question. No big deal to me. That's my thoughts on it. What are your thoughts? Is this a big deal, not a big deal? What do you think happened? Is Ian lying? Or is Cam just giving a question in the scenario and he answered it in a pretty basic way. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and you already know to do with that like button. Cheers to you, appreciate the chance. Being told y'all I've been the man. Being told y'all I had the gift. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Real ones gonna recommend. Count this as another win.